We're going to turn now to the GMA cover story. Actor James Vanderbeek sharing a brave message about miscarriages. The Dawson's Creek star revealing he and his wife have experienced three. And now he is calling for a new name for pregnancy loss. And ABC's Diane, Diane Macedo has more. Fast. Fast. You got it, kiddo. This morning, actor James Vanderbeek is making waves on social media encouraging society to make a change regarding the word miscarriage. He writes in an Instagram post, wanted to say a thing or two about miscarriages. We need a new word for it. He adds, it has nothing to do with anything the mother did or didn't do. So let's wipe all the blame off the table before we even start. Vanderbeek and his wife, Kimberly, welcomed their fifth child to the world earlier this summer. But he says over the past three years, the couple also lost three babies. Now, the actor most known for his role on Dawson's Creek is speaking about how he and his wife dealt with that loss and encouraging others to do the same. Writing, many couples become closer than ever before. Many parents realize a deeper desire for a child than ever before. But please share whatever may have given you peace or hope along the way, along with a new word for this experience. Hashtag miscarriage. Hashtag we need a new name. For Good Morning America, Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. And we're going to talk about this with Dr. Jen Ashton. You're an OBGYN. Yep. What do you feel about the phrase? You know, he's not wrong at all. The, the, in actuality, there is no medical term of miscarriage. The mm -hmm. medical term is spontaneous abortion. So this is a term in the lay public that we've coined, miscarriage, that really does have some negative social connotations. And by the way, it's not the only one. In women's health, we have a slew that a lot of people, myself included, really think wouldn't do too poorly to be renamed. We have mm. something called incompetent cervix. Why be so nasty to the cervix, calling it incompetent? We have dysfunctional uterine bleeding. We have premature ovarian failure. All of these things, while medically possibly accurate, they could use a, a little bit of a redo in terms of their terminology. And going back to what James was referring to, medically, what are we referring to? Well, when you talk about a first trimester loss in pregnancy, which happens about 10 to 20 percent of the time, what, what we in the public call a miscarriage, most of the time we don't even know the cause. But then there are a slew of reasons that we find this happens from anything from chromosomal abnormalities in the, in the embryo or the fetus to uterine defects like fibroids, chronic medical conditions like thyroid disorder or untreated diabetes or inherited clotting disorders, these are very common. If a woman or a couple suffers two sequential losses, so that's two pregnancy losses in a row, they really should step it up and have a more involved, more extensive and more aggressive medical workup because sometimes we can do something about it. And I love how you phrase it, the couple. They go through it. That's Talk about the, the emotional aspect. That's what I like yes, about right. this story, Robin, is that you have the partner. There, it usually takes two to create a baby, mm. right? So whether it, it's the husband or the wife, the partner is suffering that loss as well. So when they grieve a loss, they are grieving as a couple, and this affects the entire couple. And medically, it's pretty straightforward to treat this. Socially, emotionally, psychologically, it's much more difficult. You have to give that person and that couple time to heal and to recover and grieve grieve the loss, things that don't help when someone says, well, you could always try again. Mm, you know, that would be yeah. like a couple who lost a, an older child saying, well, you have another child. Right. That is not helpful. But we always have to maintain hope in, in women's health, in OBGYN, and you can get some, some great outcomes. Yeah, but you give this us is hope. good that we're talking yeah, about it. Yeah, it is. And I'm, I really appreciate these discussions yeah, that we have. Same, They're so same All right, Robin. Jen. Thank you. you well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.